start with last week, um, the loss at Green Valley. Just what did you kind of learn about the team from that game, and what are you going to take from that moving forward? Uh, just resiliency. Um, something we've kind of known, but uh, starting quarterback gets knocked out kind of early in the game, so we got to go to a couple different backups there to, to score points, put things on the board, make some things happen. So um, despite the loss, still able to figure out ways to, to make positive things happen and um, figure out ways to still be competitive. Is there any update on the quarterback position going into this Friday? Uh, it's still a day by day thing. Um, yesterday was a great day for him, so hopefully today will be uh, just the same. Are you making any additional changes um, as losses continue to come, just to kind of get you guys back on a good track? Um, yeah, I mean, of course, practicing wise, more fundamentals, um, focus on tackling, pursuit, those type of things. Um, but in terms of schematics and and different things like that. And that's something that we've talked about as a staff, something we've talked about as a as a team. Of course, as a head coach, like ninety eight point nine 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 percent of things fall on me and, and um my inability to get things done at the same time there's a small fraction um or players have to take ownership of what they can do. Um in the past few weeks we've had guys in position to make plays. We just haven't made them. Um, we've had the ball in our, our some of our playmakers' hands. We just haven't been able to hold on to it. So um, those type of things have to be improved, and that's not necessarily a fundamental thing. It's just a, a focus thing. Yeah, we talked a lot about the mental side um, throughout the past few weeks. Have you kind of seen any slips in that? I know when we talked a few weeks ago, you said despite the losses that spirits were pretty high. Uh, it's kind of up and down, um, to be 100% with you. Um, of course, going into this week, things are high just because it's a rivalry thing. Um, but it, it's hard, um, no matter who you are, to continue to find positives when um, you, you seem like constant negatives are, are berating you. Um, but I will say that these kids um, just like to the mantra smile on, no matter what, every day they come in here, they're they're happy, they're upbeat, they're smiling, um, they're ready to get to practice. Uh, just small things that still make this job um, enjoyable still um, or make things like I said just exciting and, and fun to be a part of well looking forward to this Friday with Rockbridge this is the rivalry talk a little bit about it and a little bit about what you're expecting this Friday to be like yeah it's going to be a, a fun environment um, a great atmosphere <clears throat> Rockbridge is a great football team so um, it'll be a, a tough ball game for both teams um, of course, like I said, when you have a rivalry, I think a lot of things can happen positively and negatively. So it's about managing those emotions, handling the momentum, um, and then just coming out and being as physical as we can. Yeah, what have you seen from Rockbridge, both offensively or defensively so far this season, that you think might be a challenge? And they, they have playmakers. When you look at them on the offensive side of the ball, uh, some of their wide receivers, guys who were not a part of things in the past couple of years, have stepped up and had a phenomenal year defensively. They got some some big physical kids that fly around and make plays. And so, um, and then just the confidence piece. They've been in a lot of close ball games. They've won in overtime. They've beat um, Elias. They've done some things that no other people have done. And so, with that comes, like I said, just confidence with, uh, with what you do things. And, and that's evident when you watch the film, how they play, how they fly around, how they um, just kind of interact with each other. It, it's evident to see that they, they're playing with a lot of confidence. With these next few weeks before the playoffs, just what are you kind of focusing on, honing in on in practices right now? I think it's sort of the same thing. Uh, focus can stop being ourselves. Uh, the past few weeks we've come out, we've turned the ball over. Um, we haven't, we've given our opponent short field positions, been tough defensively, haven't been fundamental when we have had the opportunity on defense to make some stops. And so those things have to change if we want things to, in terms of wins and losses to change.